monopolizes peanut butter, protein packed waffle bread. Yum. Okay guys, I'm making some protein packed peanut butter waffles for breakfast because I was craving them. I'm actually craving French toast. I would make a couple of different ways and show you how I make them. So this way is how my daughter may have lost about 50 pounds eating these every day. <laughs> these are, she calls them uncrustables. I'm gonna close it in just a second, take a picture. This is a way that I love to make them, my breakfast waffles. And I just heat up the jam. This is sugar-free jam. And it's amazing. You can add some fresh berries to it if you'd like. I don't happen to have any because I wasn't planning on doing this. And then I'll show you my um, French toast waffles in just a sec. So this is a nice little alternative if you don't want to have eggs every morning for breakfast but want to keep the protein up in your breakfast and keep it interesting. Okay, here's my French toast peanut butter protein packed waffles. Some people can eat three of these, but when we first started eating them, we were eating three a day because we wanted a lot of food. But then after a while, we're like, oh my gosh, we don't need to eat that much. We'll just eat what's required. That's what our body needs, not get overly stuffed. So let me serve this up one sec. Okay, my butter is sliding down, but I also heat up my syrup so that it doesn't make everything cold. So this is sugar-free syrup, maple syrup. That is delicious. My poor little butter is melting and running away. This is my peanut butter and sugar-free jam. I just put it in the microwave for a minute um, and let the jam melt. And then here are our peanut butter and jelly uncrustables. Delicious. See what I mean? I had one French toast waffle, I had one peanut butter and jelly waffle. <laughs> so full, I couldn't even take a bite out of that one. I think I'm gonna wrap this one up and have it as an emergency snack today. Um, sometimes what we do is we'll cut them in half, put them in a baggie, eat one half as a snack and then the other half as a snack later because they're really filling. But guess what, I have a lot of protein, um, they're sugar-free, gluten-free, they're satiating. So I bought these containers here to store them. I'll show you how I store them. You can throw them in here just like this, but um, I like to put them in a baggie so it keeps the container clean and I can just keep reusing it over and over again. So I'll show you how I store them, one sec. Okay, so I usually like to put them in freezer bags but I don't have any, so I'm just gonna use these baggies. And I'm put it in the container, just like this. It's hard to do with one hand, sorry guys. And just stack them, just like that. And then you can either keep them on the counter for a day or so, but I like to keep them in the fridge and then we just toast them when we're ready for them. Or if you're going to make the little sandwich like that, you can just take them out of the package, put them in a sandwich bag after you've made them. Sorry, like I said, this is, I'm trying to do all this one handed. <clears throat> this and then uh, you can store them in the refrigerator and then what I also do is I use a whiteboard marker and I put what flavor is in here um, right now if you guys are interested I will make you some peanut butter protein packed waffles you got to pre-order them though because I don't want to waste them and um, I may they're really really good in the freezer so I may even make some and keep them in my freezer in case you guys are interested in purchasing them, okay? Um, but anyway, they work out really great. This usually stores a dozen of them. I have 10 in there right now, so it's perfect. 
So I will see y'all later. Love you guys.